Hi everybody, welcome back to Shout Star Stitches. I hope you are well um, and thank you for coming back if you're returning. Um, if you're a new subscriber or viewer, welcome. Hello. Um, I recommend liking and subscribing. Uh, so I have firstly a delivery arrived today. Um, so this video is all going to be about Toft. Um, as we know, it's kind of one of my current uh, passions, obsessions. Fine line. Um, so delivery from Toff today and this was from the patch uh, party weekend they just did for bank holiday and also to give you an update on my Flora Society um, autumn instalment because um, we're making good progress I have to say. So I'll show you my delivery first. Uh, so yes we had box arrive um, this morning. So I did tell you in my video at the weekend that I placed an order on Thursday whenever it was. And it has arrived. Oh. I'm all for holding up the boxes, so I won't hold up the box and show you. So, just for interest, um, I'm going to fold this over so you cannot see my dress. But look, we have a new Jess, another Jess, with a little. Uh, I don't know what that actually is. If that is some sort of coyote wolf type item, new patch potentially at some point. Um, so packed by the new Jess. Um, then we have some leaflets included. So this is what we received. I'm going reverse order. So this one was about the crochet long that I showed you in my video at the weekend. This is a root hat knit pattern. I can knit. Could, I, could you give it to me, Mum. Um, about last chance to pre-order the veg book which I think might have actually stopped even today as we were speaking because um, I think they're running out of the free gift item aka we're assuming a patch because we got the primrose patch with um, the Alexandra's Garden Flowers book and then I got a butterfly cocoon pattern so three bags of light shining through it let me try and put all these behind so you can see it better there we go um, so that is because they released a lot of butterfly kits um, that were new. So they've sent out a separate cocoon pattern. Um, so I have made, because I did in Rosalind, the butterfly. So I have got that. But we will keep that separately because that is handy to have. Separate. Then, da -da -da -da, Wayne, the Gotland sheep. So this is a patch that we hadn't seen before that came out on patch party weekend. Um rumour has it we said we believe that Wayne has since left Toft um, so he had patches created for him and has sadly since gone um, so I wanted to get in and get this one because if they've only say got a batch of a thousand and he's now left they're probably not going to replenish because they like to tend to just keep patches for the staff that they've got um, at Toft um, and obviously they do specials like Piotra with the Christmas hat and uh, the chick and things like that separate but the staff patches so um yeah i got that one arrive today um to add to my collection that was the only one i ordered because it was the only one i needed um out of what was on the website it's rather worrying isn't it um and then obviously i've got i did go for a digital pdf instead of a whole kit so i got my yarn in a bag get that out of the way then i can show you so I purchased um, a colour bundle of six, uh, so I'll show you those. Um, and then I did slightly different colours for my Gotland sheep. So I got in my colour bundle Amethyst, a pink. These were ones that I only had one or two balls of when I did my um, yarn inventory, my toft inventory. Teal. Sorry, the light's really poor. It's looking like it's about to chuck it down. Uh, sapphire. If I lean that way, that doesn't really help, does it? Uh, yellow. Annoys me when they're coming apart like that. So they've got lost in transit. That's not even the thing, right thing. I'm waffling now. And then I got a peony as well. So those were the four colours and they do now mix and match so you can do all the brights. I'm still waiting for a mix and match where you can do colours and neutrals. I'd really love them to do that. I really ought to message them and say, can you do that? 
so that you can just do a colour bundle of anything um, because it is specifically brights and neutrals, I believe. I don't don't recall seeing neutrals in the same list. Um, I suppose then it kind of takes away maybe from ordering kits because you could order the colour bundles, but then you're not getting, if you want a pattern, you're not getting patterns. Anywho, those are the six that I ordered. Then I ordered for my Gotland sheep, so it was four colours, uh, four balls, so it's more, uh, 100 grams of maths today. Um, so I think the original is shale and charcoal for the Gotland sheep. I don't know, I just didn't want mine to be that dark. So I went for shale for the darker portion. So I've got two, two shale and uh, two silver. So I went for that for my sheep. Um, yeah, we'll give it a go at some point. Um, add it to the list to do. Um, but at least we have our Wayne patch. So that arrived this morning, which was nice. I have also had an email that my centralizer has been renewed, my centralizer subscription. Um, I'm not sure that I've actually shown you any of those to date. Uh, are they hanging up here, I think? One moment, caller, as I say at work. So this is what we've received so far, because we had the pollen pollinators before. Um, so, which was the first, I think this was the first one. So this was, if you can see that, it's a pot with a little seedling in. So that's the first one, I believe. If they're the wrong way around, don't don't come for me. Can't remember which order we've had. And this one's really super tiny. I'll try and show you this one. Can you see that? It's like a little trowel. Uh, yeah, so those are the two we've had so far, which I've put on my Toft Centralizer Keeper. Those are the two we've had so far for the new Centralizer subscription. Um, we had the old ones, which are the pollinator. I've got like four key rings now. I've got two silver. One with all my feathers on and one with my centralizer pollinators. Then I've got two gold, one with these on and one with the gem ones from the Advent 2021 um, when we did Jasper, the resplendent Quetzal. Um, so, yeah, because you get you get three rings on each side. So you get six rings altogether, but three on each side of the thing so I don't like to overload excuse me while I hang these back up out the way um so they hang up this is my craft area on this side but you can't see this side is office it is my sewing desk but lockdown hey ho right toft flora society so I showed you I did all the spoilers in the last video and I showed you the patterns that we we're going to be making um, it looks like Toft has started to share those as well now, but I will put chapters in this so you can still avoid if you want. Um, so I have made so far ooh, Sylvia the Caterpillar. There she is. And this is in the, um, what do they call it? It's not Batoli because that's the spread over here. Or is it Bert Bert Bertolini beans? No, I can't remember the yarn name and it was around here earlier. Anyway, the hand dyed yarn that came with the, the Flora Society, which is a sage base by the looks of it, and with some pinks and magentas through it, or some light magenta. Um, so this is Sylvia the Caterpillar, and she's got little, little feet on the bottom, if you can see there. And I have wired her so that she is bendable, poseable, like Milton. Um, that was interesting times, getting the wire into her as per it was with Milton, um, but it makes for a much better um, character, I think. So that is Sylvia the Caterpillar that we have Sit her next to the camera. Then I moved on to, so I normally do them in the order that the pattern just come in. So they normally start at like an easy level and get progressively harder. So it was Sylvia, then it was the beans, which I haven't done yet, saving till last. Then it was the cucumber and then the pak choy. But I I went to the end and decided to do the pak choy next. Here is my pak choy. With his little face and his leaves. Uh, the leaves I had to do like three times. My head couldn't get my couldn't get around the pattern to start with. Um, I got there in the end. I've never eaten a pak choy, unless I suppose it might have been in like a stir fry and I didn't realise. Um, and there's the inside. I've kind of sewn mine up a bit together because you stuff this body part. 
and then you sew the leaves in on to the veins and then it kind of was open still so I've kind of just sort of tried to stitch it together so you can't see any stuffing um, in there and maybe see where the caterpillar can sort of go in the pak choy <laughs> so there is the pak choy done and then we have the cucamelon which when I was telling my husband about this he thought I was just making stuff up now <laughs> but I was like no it's a real thing I'm assuming it is a cross between a cucumber and a melon. Somebody help me out in the comments. My variety of veg is very basic. We're both quite fussy, but I'm like carrots, sweet corn, um, peppers, cucumber, maybe a bit of broccoli, a bit of cauliflower if I'm forced it, and Brussels sprouts. I do like Brussels sprouts at Christmas. Um, and potatoes and parsnips. I'm not very adventurous with the fruit and veg. Um, so yes, I think my mum eats these cucumelons. They're like the little tiny type cucumbers. So yeah, that is our cucumelon. He's got his little like tendrils on the top. I think it's a he. So this is where we've got to so far. Three out of four done since Friday. I didn't do any crochet last night and I finished the cucumelon. What day are we today? I'm all lost because I'm not at work this week. So it's Tuesday today. I feel like I finished the cucumelon on Monday. Sunday. Anyway, really super quick makes. So I do like this Flora Society, um, how, what they've done this year with them being mini makes because I feel a little bit more like I can get through them and sort of progress wise move along quite quickly. Whereas if it were a big item, like a full, just one full size with the flower monsters, well, I struggled, but I don't know, it felt like it took me longer. Maybe because you're achieving something quicker with these. Um, but yeah, so I've just got the beans in the bean pod to make, so I am going to make a start on those tonight. They do all come out of the bean pod, but I'm debating not using as much of the hand dye. This used 11 grams, that was it, out of 100 grams. Obviously I've got to make the pod, so I might make the pod first and one bean, because three beans go in it, but you only see the face of one. So I might do another bean in sage, just to save on some of the hand dye, because it's super pretty and use the hand off something else. Anyway, waffling, toft, Flora Society, flying cucamelon, all done. Right, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm probably not gonna have anything to show you at the weekend now, apart from maybe my beans. Um, so yeah, I will hopefully have something to show you at the weekend. I'm waiting on some of the club yarns, so hopefully that will arrive. Um, but as always, thank you for watching. Hope you have a lovely evening and I will hopefully catch you next time. Take care. Bye.